Hello everyone at Craft. It's your cream cheese party queen here, Danielle Rizek, and I'm here to make another one of my famous recipes. This one is called the Philly, well, Philly Strawberry Delight, and it's obviously made with strawberries here. And basically, it's a very simple recipe. Uh, we start with 250 grams of the staple of the recipe, Philadelphia cream cheese. And uh, I have some sliced almonds here, and we're just going to add those. Those are just for garnish at the end. Um, I have one cup of vanilla yogurt. Uh, we're going to use a pinch of salt. Now, I know it sounds weird putting salt in with strawberries, but actually the salt tends to bring out the flavors. Uh, somebody told me that a really long time ago, so now I just happen to add it. I don't know why. I'm sure you can admit it or omit it from the recipe if you don't want to put salt, but I like a pinch. Uh, I have half a cup of packed brown sugar, a half a teaspoon of vanilla extract, and I just have a little bar of chocolate here, which I'm just going to shave right at the end for garnish as well. So I'm going to start with my cream cheese, which I've left out of the fridge for about an hour and a half. It's nice and soft. And uh, we're just going to take this and we're going to put it right in the bowl. It really does get soft when you leave it out of the fridge. It makes it so much easier to mix it. my one cup of vanilla yogurt. Okay. I'm just going to kind of mix it up here. It's going to start. I do use a big bowl because when you stir it in the bowl, it tends to fly everywhere, so a bigger bowl is kind of better. Smaller bowl. So I just added the brown sugar there, and a little pinch of salt. And you mix it up really good. Now, you can use a food processor if you prefer. Um, this time, I'm just gonna use uh, my own strength to get it going. Now the good thing about this is it can be served as an appetizer at a garden party or if you're having friends over or some sort of function. Uh, it can be served really anywhere. So I'm just kind of gnashing down with my spoon. You just take it and smush down and it just kind of gets rid of any lumps or bumps or anything like that. Now the cream cheese is nice and soft, so it's, it's mixing really, really well. is you're going to take a nice batch of strawberries that you find. I like to try to find the bigger ones. Uh, you can take um, the nice little pointed ones or you can take the funny looking ones. I know there's funny looking ones in here, but I'm going to start with the nicer looking ones first. Uh, very simple. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut off the top just like this. And what you're going to do is you're going to slice down the middle and you're going to make an X, but you're not going to go right to the base of the strawberry. You're only going to cut about three quarters of the way down of the strawberry. So I'm cutting on one side and then I'm cutting on across the other side. So in an X formation. Then what you're going to do is see you can open it up like that. And it opens up like a flower almost. Okay. And then the filling is going to go right inside here. Okay, so I'm just going to add the vanilla into the mixture. And we're going to give it a nice stir. And we're ready to fill our strawberries. So, now we're going to take the strawberry, and I'm just going to open it up like that. And I'm going to take a nice teaspoon and just dollop it right inside there. And they just fill in so nicely. And then I'm just going to take a couple almonds here and place it right on top. Isn't that beautiful? They are so good, and you know what? It tastes like a strawberry cheesecake. 
and it's half the calories and it's you know you can eat one and you're satisfied you don't need to eat this huge piece of cheesecake so we're just gonna fill these guys I'd already pre-cut some here so just fill them up the bigger ones you can put a little bit more It's funny because they remind me of Little Shop of Horrors, of that little, that plant, <laughs> once you open them up. That, right in there. Ooh, that one got a lot all over the place. This one's messy. these guys I'll do one more here so now and I'll just show you what I do at the end here so we'll put these guys here and then I like to take the chocolate I just like to grate a little bit on the plate here like this just to give it that extra it's really nice for presentation and stuff too. It's pretty on the plate and it's chocolate and who doesn't like chocolate? And there you have it. This is my Philly Strawberry Delight and I'm sure that you will find them quite delightful. Now I just want to thank Anna Olson and Kraft Foods for giving me this opportunity to yet again show another one of my wonderful recipes. And I'm just going to try this. I'm going to take a small one so I don't get it all over my face. Okay, bon appetit.